Hello everybody, my name is Julian or Flow Graphics and welcome to another one of the Dev Diaries for Lens Island. So sorry for uh, missing last week's Dev Diary. Uh, like some of you may know, I sort of lost a hard drive and a whole bunch of game files and I've sort of spent the past sort of couple weeks trying to play catch up and trying to make a whole bunch of stuff that I've already made and just making it again. This video, you're actually going to hear from our programmer Martin and also the audio and music composer Lars. So this will be not just me in today's video, I will give you a quick little update on some of the stuff I've been working on. Like you may notice here we have some uh, sexy new water. <laughs> so yeah, we've got new water and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, it's a bit more of a smaller update but I'll keep it nice and quick. So you may notice it's a dramatic change from the old water. So we have proper sort of uh, river simulation now where I've been able to sort of work out a system uh, for creating rivers with all sorts of flowing effects and make little waterfalls and things like this. I uh, completely changed the water shader as well, so the ocean water just looks different. These still aren't final, they're still going to take a lot of tweaking. I'm not fully set on how the foam looks, I think it just looks a bit too static, like it look, needs to look a little bit more interesting. Other than that, it, it looks very, very different and what I think is a very big upgrade from the from the previous water. So if I go to this little uh, sort of dock here for a second. So if I now quickly replace this water for the old one, you can see the difference. I, I didn't really quite think about the impact the water had. Uh, and I really like the foam on the old water. I think it looks really stylistic and cool. And I want to try find a way to sort of make something sort of like that for the new one. But you know, this is the old uh, sort of water and it's just a, a wall of blue. There's not, not really much to it. It doesn't really look that detailed. And then you go to the new water and it's, it's just like night and day. It's completely different and I think it's looking a lot better. Same with the rivers too. If I quickly jump back to the rivers now. So if we make our way down here, you may even notice the sound of the river too. There's all sorts of sound effects. Uh, but if I sort of stand here, let's go to night time. So I'll drag the day night cycle across and you can see it's got this really nice sort of moonlight. It just looks really beautiful, especially just when you're sort of running through the map and you it's like you're sort of chasing the moonlight <laughs> and you can just see it sort of sparkle. It looks really, really nice. Uh, like I said, it's still going to take uh, a bit of refinement uh, as well, uh, but I think it's looking a fair bit better than what it looked before. And and just like these waterfalls, they just look really beautiful. Uh, before, the, the whole sort of water system was really stagnant. It was essentially just one flat plane with a shader. It had no sort of volume or flow or any sort of dynamics to it. And it was just something that looked good, it looked okay, and it just sort of sat in the background. But now, rather than the water sitting in the background and you don't really notice it, it's actually like a, a visual feature of the game. It's something where you go up to this waterfall and you go, wow, that looks really pretty. W which is obviously going to add a lot to the experience. Um, it actually, you know, being one of the high points rather than just being something that sits in the background. So I've been working a lot more other than just water, but uh, this has really taken up so much of my time mainly because the water in Lens Island is a little bit difficult because it needs to work with all these different lighting scenarios. Uh, you need to make one shader or you need to make multiple shaders constantly fade into each other, which, which has a pretty big tax on the engine if you're lerping very complex materials and shaders constantly. It's not really what you want to do. Yeah, look, I've got some uh, updates uh, from Lars and also from Martin for you guys, which is something special. You guys haven't really heard from them before. Uh, going to catch you up on some of the music and sound effects stuff. Also, Martin's going to talk quickly about the uh, building system and where we're at with that. Uh, it's, it's the first time Martin's ever made a YouTube video, so be nice to him in the comments, guys. So yeah, look, I'll hand it over to them. Hey guys, my name is Lars Erik and I'm the music composer and sound designer of Lens Island. So far in the development, we have started to make a ton of sound effects. Everything from player movement like footsteps and weapons to uh, monster sounds and ambience for the different islands. Right now, we're on a first pass stage where everything is a bit rough and quick, but it's very useful for nailing the audiovisual vibe of the game. Here you can see me working with some concepts for an upcoming enemy in the game. By layering different sounds, we can get some really complex and unique results. This is how it sounds like so far. I've also started working on some music for the islands. 
The music you'll hear will depend on what island you're on and if it's daytime or nighttime. Here's a sneak peek of a track I'm working on for the town island. More on this in the next update. I've also started doing monthly live streams where you can see me compose music or work with sound design for the game. Head over to my YouTube channel to get future content regarding music and sound design for Lens Island. I'm really looking forward to showing you more as we progress in development. Hey guys, Martin here, a programmer for Lens Island from Julian's home. It's a nice place everyone should come over and visit. So we're here Don't just <laughs> for five from the top. Uh, his address is, have a little update for you uh, with the building. So as you can see immediately, we have the nice fading when we're walking uh, on our building, right? It's looking pretty good. A problem that we were having was that we couldn't quite fade the materials the way that we wanted to. So we needed something that could cast shadows and receive shadows uh, so that it would look good. And you know, it still looked like you were inside your house when you were inside your house and everything above you disappeared. If you had just say, turned off the floor above, you'd let all the ambient light in and that would look weird so let's just say that i did that here right you see that because i've actually turned off the objects this time the moment i walked inside of the house it's like the the roof was actually removed and that doesn't make sense it also doesn't look as good for example if i just bring this back in and i find my little fireplace right you wouldn't you see how good this looks the mood that this sets you don't have this the moment you, you tear off the roof of your house uh it's not as dramatic so we wanted to keep that because we felt that that was important and I think you'll find that it's important too. We fixed that and our solution was basically to switch materials. We have one that can fade and cast shadows, we have the normal uh, opaque one that can receive shadows. So essentially what we did, yeah, we just swapped the materials as soon as we said that they should have anything other than a non-1 alpha value. So that's that, it's looking good. So here's a little example of the building system in action, right? Just ignore the UI uh, we have here. You can see there are a couple of bugs. It's all placeholder right now, right? It'll be better later. Uh, so we open up our menu, we go in, we want a uh, foundation. We're like, all right, cool, I want that. Click and drag, right? Simple, uh, time-tested method there. Never underestimate how good drag and drop is. So you guys could probably see that the window is scrolling while I'm trying to click and drag stuff. Uh, right, you see it there. Uh, forget that, we're gonna fix that later. It's just not a key priority right now, but yeah, like we're on it. We're not gonna make that uh, a feature of the game because I imagine that would be really annoying. I'm building my little house here, right? And just to show you how cool, uh, you know, the things that you could make with a little bit of creativity, right? Uh, and the system uh, and tools that you will have at your disposal, right? I've got my little uh, one room cabin here. And maybe I'm like, uh, I, I want a dock here or something, right? Because I feel like that is what I want with my uh, home for whatever reason that may be, right? It's pretty simple to just go out and here and just make a jetty, right? All the way across until uh, the check says that there shouldn't, you shouldn't be able to place anything there, right? And there you go, you've got yourself a cool little jetty here, maybe add a few railings. And you know, even though I'm not an artist, this looks all right. So here's a, here's a little something I prepared earlier, right? Just showing off the capabilities of the system in game. We're still working on a few things uh, here and there. So, you know, in the future, this is going to be even better uh, so, you know, keep a watch out for that. Um, that ends my segment of the video. Just want to let you guys know that uh, if you want more programming updates, and I plan to do another one to go a little bit in detail about how our construction system actually works, then just join the Discord and uh, go over my uh, programming updates channel uh, and just stay tuned on that one. And that pretty much sums up today's dev diary. I hope you guys liked uh, meeting Lars and meeting Martin. A quick little sort of uh, sneak peek for people still watching the video is we'll be releasing Steam wishlists in the next week or two, hopefully. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Uh, if you want to stay up to date with everything in the game development, join our Discord channel. Uh, it's free and public to join and you can talk to us and basically just keep your finger on the pulse and know exactly what's happening with uh, the game Lens Island at all times. So as always, everybody, I hope you have an amazing day. It's been Julian or Flo here. See you in the next video.